So here I've decided to combine my uh, collage work with the work of Daniel Craig Martin. So I'm tracing the main outlines uh, of my collage. Uh, not a lot of detail on there, just the main outlines. Once I've done, I flip my tracing paper around and trace exactly over the other side to transfer the image onto a white sheet of paper. Uh, once I've finished, uh, I've got my uh, really light outline on here. So I've decided to uh, go back over the top here using a fine liner as I want you to clearly see uh, what I'm doing here in this video. So I'm just outlining uh, the main buildings on here uh, with nice bold outline. I'm using a ruler uh, to kind of refer to the work of Daniel Craig Martin on there. Then I'm just going to get on with some painting. I use a tiny amount of paint. Uh, you won't need loads of paint for this project. Uh, and I'm going to paint with a thin brush uh, to paint my shapes accurately. So Daniel Craig Martin uses flat colours. He have decided to use bright non-realistic colours, but I'm not going to keep to flat colours. I want to practice using gradients and shades. Uh, so as you can see, I'm adding some dark tone, some gradients, a uh, little bit of tints as well on here. Always making sure I mix a tiny bit of the darker colour into the lighter colour. Uh, once I've got colour mix, I quite liked, like the blue on here or the yellow, uh, here I've just mixed some greens. I'm applying it in a few areas of my composition uh, and trying to use my instincts really to create a balanced composition uh, where the colours go on nicely together. So I'm continue, going to continue to fill the page on here. Uh, just using my instinct on what I think is going to look good on there. Okay, uh, so you can move your painting around. Here I'm going to turn it around in a minute to paint the sky uh, so I can paint it easier without, um, easily without going over some of the areas I've done on here. So here in the sky I want a gradient, same, just sticking with the non-realistic colours and having it slightly uh, darker at the back. So here same, I'm shading some of the buildings and adding some detail uh, to create a little bit of a sense of depth um, because I've decided that that's the way I want to take my work on here. 